Applications are like sandwiches. There's lots of complex layers that together create more than the sum of their parts. In Fly.io land, adding a layer like a Postgres database or Tigris object storage is as easy as running a handful of FlyCTL commands. If, however, you have some custom service layer, your special sauce if you will, you have extra work. Or do you? If you're building the same thing over and over and over and over and over, there's a good chance you're reusing existing components. Let's say you're making apps for sandwich shops. You might always start with a lander, but what happens after will vary greatly depending on your clients. One might say, hey, I want a platform to place orders. Another might want an AI chatbot. Yet another one might say, why not both? For this and similar composition workflows, we've added the attach flag. You can think of attaching apps like adding layers onto a sandwich. Let's see it in action. Imagine for a second we're building an app for Don's Deli. We bootstrap a simple fast API app for our lander. For a while, Don's Deli is content until the client approaches us for that AI chatbot. The good thing is, we've done this so often, we already have a chatbot laying around. All we have to do is attach it. But what actually happened here? And how is any of it different from a regular old fly launch? Let's enhance. The best way to explain what's going on here is to look at what you would have to do to achieve the same, but without using the attach flag. Here's the one-liner. An app gets launched from a GitHub repository. It gets a Flycast address and is made unavailable from the public internet. The necessary cloud infrastructure is provisioned according to the app specification and secrets necessary to make the app work are made available in the parent app. There's a couple of cool things about this. One, you defer a lot of the configuration of the app to the attached app. So anything to make it work, the app knows about what it needs and how to make it available to the environment. Two, you automatically provision the correct cloud infrastructure for your attached app to work in. Rather than you having to guess VM sizes or which volumes to create, the app knows this for itself and it provisions them for itself. Depending on the app, you can also attach things like a Postgres database or a Tigress object storage. I've linked an app in the description below that does exactly that. Three, you have an escape hatch if you need more. At the end, the attached app is just an app, meaning that if you need to scale it to more regions or to increase its CPU size or whatever else, you can. You can do this without modifying any other infrastructure. Before you leave, you should know attachment is not without issues. The attach flag is still highly experimental and may exhibit quirks as we iterate on it. If you have feedback for us, we'd love to hear from you in the community forum. The link for that is in the description. And remember, don't build from scratch, attach.